hey, what's up? Still got the tan going on from the last video because don't wash off easy. <laughs> we are at our first ever Airbnb. We came down here to hang out with Lacey and just like be there for her because we didn't get to come whenever Papa passed away. So I wanted to be close to her. I, she's my best friend on best friend in the whole entire world. I wanted to be close to her when something like this happened. I promised her two years ago I would be close to her if something like this happened. So we're making a whole trip out of it. We did though get a beach house right next to the beach so that they could come over here. Her and Sadie and Bubba could come over here and go to the beach with us if they wanted to or they could just come over here and hang out or we could go to the pier or whatever. We could make a whole trip out of it and kind of use this to get their mind off of what they're going through right now. Just make it a little bit easier because everybody has a whole grief process and we all grieve differently but sometimes we really need a break from that grief and so while we're not forgetting Paul Papa, I'm actually going by Papa's grave and Nani's grave, which is her grandma that passed away long before I knew her, and seeing their graves and me paying my respect to their graves. So we're not forgetting the fact that she's lost somebody, but we're, we're doing what Papa would want her to do and we're having fun because that's what Papa was all about. He's all about the fun. Every time I talked to him, every time I saw him, he's always having fun. We're going to be here for a while and I'm not going to spend a fortune on food and eating out because we're trying to be really frugal and I'm not I'm not gonna eat away my food because you just dookie it out. <laughs> Shane just closed his eyes and was like, uh. <laughs> but I'm not gonna eat away the food like when we can go spend it on something fun and something that will give us memories. You'll forget what you ate yesterday, but you ain't gonna forget something cool that you did yesterday. So that's what I'm focusing on with this little getaway. Uh, Let me show you guys this Airbnb. I'm I've never stayed in an Airbnb, so it's new to me, and I just am obsessed with it it's simple it's small but it is so cool it's a beach house so it's all beach themed but wait till y'all see this Look at the door, it's blue. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. Okay, so you walk in here and you've got this sit-in area and the table is this really pretty aqua teal color. So How cute is that? I want one of those in my house so bad. But we've got our living area here. That couch pulls out to be a sofa bed. Right here is our eating area. So it's kind of spans. It's very open concept, but a small open concept. It's got like all the beach decor. Right here is the kitchen. How pretty is that? I want one of these sinks. I want, I didn't know Airbnbs gave you everything that you need to stay in here, but like we even got soap, we even got dishes. We've got like everything we need, paper towels, like utensils. It's got beach themed stuff, this gorgeous sink, more beach themed stuff. It even has a Keurig, a microwave, coffee pods a stove and an oven which is going to save us so much money this trip so when you walk in this is to the right and you see all of that to the right with this little entryway thing here and then off to the far right the last thing on the right side of the place it's got these cute little like doors ah! it's just just like a beachy themed bathroom with a shower it also has washer and dryer which is going to come in handy with all the sand it has like this little cabinet and it has towels in it. They have this pretty little, look at this, with beachy decor in it, beach stuff on the walls, the showers right here. It's just a little one person shower. Like I said, it's like nothing like huge fancy, but it, it's fancy to me, y'all. I don't care what anybody thinks. It's it's fancy to me. I ain't never stayed in something like this before. So it's, it's a new experience and I couldn't be happier in a Marriott at this point. When you walk into the front door and you look straight forward, that's a door that leads to the up part because this is an actual beach house. They separate the floors and rent them out separately. So somebody up there is renting that portion and we're renting the lower portion. Thank you, Jesus, because our kids sound like wildebeest. <laughs> you see like this pretty little rug. You see the bar area right there. And then you have the TV, two chairs, and books. Y'all, they stocked us with books. They even have a devotional in here somewhere. So that's right up my alley. I love all these teals mm -hmm. and stuff. What'd you name that dolphin, Shane? That is Marvin. Marvin the dolphin. Yeah. We even have Marvin the dolphin. Oh, look, welcome our little piece of paradise. It's got like beams up there. Yeah, ain't that cool? Super, super pretty. The windows are very small and they go out to like this little patio area with the little bitty grill, mm -hmm. palm trees out there. 
it's so pretty so pro so so pretty right, when you walk in here and you look to the left you have the kids area where they're sleeping so it's got these double doors right here and this pretty little rug you look to the left there's a tv on some drawers that we can unpack our stuff into there's a queen bed i believe that's where two of the kiddos will sleep but look how pretty like it's decorated oh my gosh i love this color it's just something about it makes you happy. Now I understand why people go with beach themes in their house, even when they don't live at the beach. I used to judge that. <laughs> Not really, but I used to think, huh, you know, that's interesting. Now I get it because the teals and the corals and the greens and all of those and the, and the beiges, they all, everything together, like it makes it feel just so like happy. It changes your mood. Your mood is definitely influenced by color. I have found that out today. <laughs> but there's also a bed over here with a little lamp. Two of the kiddos will be sleeping on this one. We could have just one sleep there and the other sleep on the pull-out sofa, but I would prefer all the kids in one area. That just makes me feel better whenever I have my kiddos in one area. There's an entryway into this room on this side and that big old entryway right here. This entryway goes out into the little bitty hallway. Here is a big old closet. We even got extra pillows, all sorts of stuff. And we even have an ice thing we can take to the beach. But like all sorts of things. I don't know if there's anything in this. Oh, there's AirPods and stuff. But I know there are board games down here in the bottom, which is really cool. And then the one that the TV's on, we got some beach towels, which I thought was really thoughtful. They got you stocked up in here. Walking through this exit over here, we find ourselves in the hallway. So there's the kitchen to the right. And it's got all this beach decor on the wall. And here at the very back is the master bedroom. It's got a little chair here. It's got a big old, big old bed. Look at these shutters. Those are shutters put together and a, pa a picture painted on them. I love these blues. We gotta still unpack our stuff. We just got here, but we have a little desk here. The kiddos have been playing hide and seek already. <laughs> so we have this closet here to unpack our stuff in i've never been one to unpack at a hotel or anything but i think this will be the trip that i do it on got those pinks and corals in here got another window that leads out you can see a palm tree those are like the coolest things to me because we don't have those in tennessee <laughs> over here is a coral dresser and drawer set with a tv on it and then over here's a vanity and the color of this vanity gives me so much serotonin it is gorgeous and then there's me there's a girl all large and in charge and orange <laughs> i am so happy with this room with the other rooms in this house this house in general very well upkept very clean it smelled phenomenal when we walked in here it smelled like coconuts and the beach like they done went and outdid themselves on this airbnb uh which i have nothing to compare it to but i have a feeling we started off big and everything else I go to Airbnb wise, I'm going to end up comparing it to this one because it's that good. All right, let me show you the fit before we run off to the grocery store. This is from Ross. Girdle panties. It's not a girdle and it's not panties. It's girdle panties. It's from Ross. <laughs> Earrings are from a boutique in the mall. They were $5. Same price as like the paparazzi jewelry you see. And I got all sorts of different ones. Tan is St. Tropez Express. <laughs> and then my shoes. Oh, darn. I got. I think I got them at Shoe Carnival. They're cows. <laughs> Can we just, I've been wearing them everywhere. I love them. But I found this at Ross. Now it is a little immodest, so I've got a little safety pin here you can probably see right there. I got a little safety pin just to keep it together. You know? Release the hounds! <laughs> just to keep it together. But that is the fit. Let's figure out what exactly we're going to cook. Meal plan. Hey, can I grill hamburgers tonight? Yeah. On that little bitty grill? Yeah. On the little, bit, little bitty grill? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Shane's wanting to grill hamburgers on the little bitty grill. I also got my budget notepad open so that I can budget everything that we spend. That way uh, we don't go home on a dollar. <laughs> and I would suggest if y'all don't do that, you should definitely do that because it makes you aware of how much you're spending. Beach house meal plan. So for breakfast, we're probably gonna do, cause I don't think we have a waffle maker or I would do those sandwiches. No, 
but we do have a toaster so we can do stuff like waffles waffles um what else Shane? uh hey we ain't got a waffle on our do he don't listen to me ever they don't have a waffle thing but they might have them at iga honestly you know what we could probably do what? We do the same thing but we just fry up a little egg and you know you know you Buy some ham, fry it up, or whatever. Okay. All right. We so we won't do the waffle version, but we'll still make those sandwiches. So breakfast sandwiches. And then we'll do breakfast sandwiches and waffles. So we'll put those together for a few days. For lunch. Yeah. What are we thinking? Obviously sandwiches. You never go wrong with sandwiches. Sandwiches. Fish sticks. Sandwiches are cheap. Okay. Um, we'll get plenty of snacks, too. Drinks. Dinner, you want to do burgers? For tonight? Is that what you said? Yes. Okay, burgers and hot dogs, because I'll eat a hot dog. Burgers and hot dogs. Tomorrow, we're eating at Lacey's. What do you want to do the next day, Daddy? Uh, for dinner? Uh-huh. We could do... We could do the kebabs you were talking about. Oh, yeah, we were going to do kebabs one night. We just need one more. I wouldn't mind to have, like, a spaghetti night. That's what I wanted. Yeah? Yeah, All and right. then I'll get you guys stuff that you'll actually eat. All right, this is what we're doing to keep it simple and not fancy, just something that I know will be doable. For breakfast, we've got waffles and we've got breakfast. Why did I put that? Oh, bre <laughs> oh breakfast For sandwiches, breakfast, hold on. <laughs> there, I fixed it. Breakfast sandwiches. Lunch, we got sandwiches, chips, and like little cakes and stuff to snack on, snacks and drinks. And then for dinner, tonight we're having burgers and hot dogs. Then we're going to have something to eat at Lacey's. And then we're going to do kebabs and mac and cheese one night. And then we're going to do spaghetti. <coughs> you mind buying the sausage fingers to... There we go. Spaghetti and garlic bread, another knot. Because the last time we were here at Tabby to see Lacey, we spent $100 one time on dinner, and I said never again. I mean, granted it is for six people, but that's really expensive. Especially when you can take six people to, like, Texas Roadhouse and spend 70 bucks. It was over $100, so that was a little bit too pricey. So I did find out there's an IGA here on the island, so that's where we're going to go do the grocery shopping. I haven't been in an IGA in a month of Sundays. But we're going to go ahead before they close, because we've got a little bit before they close. We're going to go ahead and get all of that done, bring it home, and then try to make our way to the beach. Off to the grocery store we go. Yar mateys. Welcome to Grocery Haul Vacation Edition. We've got some groceries here. I'm gonna go over it with y'all, let you know what we got. Come on. We're gonna start here. We actually got some laundry detergent because this place is awesome and it has a washer and dryer. Dude, it was two for five. So yeah, these were two for five. So. Did it on sale. Yeah, buddy. Uh, we've got some hamburger meat here. I think, is that what we're fixing tonight? Yes. Okay, we're gonna have hamburgers here in just a little bit. Along we've got some uh, yellow potatoes because you know it, you love it. Hashtag Tater Nation. We've got us some onions here. 
a green pepper. We've got us some ribeye steaks for one night. That's for the kebabs. We've got hamburger meat for spaghetti. We've got butter. Uh, we've got some mozzarella cheese, biscuits, whipped cream. Uh, right here, we've got some smoked ham. We've got some Texas toast, waffles, and chocolate chip waffles for quick, easy morning stuff. Uh, we've bought some cutlery, cut cutlery, cutlery, along with some plates and these. We've got some eggs here. We got some milk. We also got us some shampoo and conditioner. We got us some graham crackers, vanilla wafers. We got some goldfish, Oreos, two packs of hamburger buns, some bread, some toaster pastries, which assumedly are just pop tarts. We got us uh, these Kool Aid jammers for the kiddos. Uh, some sugar, some Italian sausage and gar- ooh, up, that's gonna be good. Uh, we got some fruit cocktail, we got donuts, we've got some meat tenderizer for the hamburgers, come on focus. Right here, we've got some noodles, some pasta noodles, cool. We've got some kebab toothpicks, uh, spaghetti, aluminum foil, two boxes of Instant pudding, two boxes of mac and cheese. We've got some lighter fluid for the hamburger, so I'm going to get that started here in a minute. We've got some Pringles sour cream and onion chips, cheddar and sour cream chips, regular wavy chips, barbecue sauce, uh, strawberry jelly, syrup. Pizza sauce, and this is not for pizza, it's because I actually drink this stuff out of the can, it's weird, I know. Rena keeps telling me to get V8, and V8 does not taste like this. She swears up and down it does, and it does not. We've got some peanut butter, a box of Mr. Pibbs, a thing of waters. So yeah, there's our grocery haul, vacation edition. Thank you for joining me. I hope to see you soon. Out. the trash pictures. He put it on this one. But he put a pay shooter from Lance vs. Zombies on his head. <laughs> wow. <coughs> He's a genius. I'm up before everybody. I'm actually up before the crack of dawn. <laughs> Let's get chores done so we can go to the beach.
Water's in the freezers. You're ready for when we head off to the beach. Kiddos who are finished eating are changing into their swimwear. Trying to get daddy out of bed. I'm going to have to reheat his waffles. We're just going to be at the beach and then we come back home. We're going to eat some lunch and then just stare at the clock. Wait till Lacey calls me. And then I'm going to see my best friend. <laughs> Her what these bubbles were because I thought they were cleaning the water. She was like cleaning the ocean, Marina. It's too calm. Oh my gosh. I was like, why are they cleaning the water? Sure I'm getting by. Everybody's apparently wearing hoodies and we didn't get the memo. <laughs> Our kids are out here in bikinis. And everybody is out here in hoodies and in leggings. <laughs> We're sitting on beach shelves. <laughs> We can't even act normal shit. I'm cold. <laughs> 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 you finished your shoes off. 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 You finished your shoes <laughs> our walk of shame off the beach <laughs> with our beach chairs and our beach towels. <laughs> we're passing everybody and they're looking at us like. <laughs> I think we're timing it just right because I think it's about to rain. <sighs> it's probably gonna snow at this point. <laughs> Why do we go out in public? <laughs>
got the okay to go. Lacey just gave me the okay, so I'm just running. I've tidied it up already in here. So I'm going to pop on some makeup, pop some sunscreen on my kiddos, even though we just had sunscreen on us at the beach when it was overcast <laughs> and it was like 60 degrees. 60 degrees in Tennessee is like warm. 60 degrees down here, people think it's cold. So I don't know. But I'm gonna pop some of that on and then we're headed. We own the way. We own the way. We own the way. Is the camera working? <laughs> Why do we look so sad? Oh, me, oh I, I wish recording. Oh, why do my cheeks look red? I look like I put blush on. Cause we just came back from the Holly Wobbly. It was a lot. <laughs> Y'all have ring lights. We have phone flashlights. <laughs> Hold on, let me go put my teeth in. <laughs> I wonder if they fit me. Oh, I thought you were taking them out for me to try on. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> oh, I do do. You're not. It's your phone. That was so orange. It looks like you boxed me in the face when you got here right there. Alright, what? what is Let's it? put some zombie Seattle. Yes. What is it, Jolie? Let's put some zombie lettuce. We're gonna be making some what? Macaroni and cheese. Woo! The higher the angle, the better because. Yeah. Welcome to our cooking oh, show. Good. You didn't say one, two, three, ready, let's go. <laughs> one, two, three, ready, let's go. Welcome to our cooking show. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. All Stop right. saying that. You're going to have me saying that going home. Yeah, uh, man. See, because you don't know how to cook. <laughs> yeah, man. Come here. <laughs> Alright then, to the loo. Salt, stick it in the oven. <laughs> My oven don't work. Lie number one. <laughs> Tell me another one. <laughs> what? Here. Oh, one. Oh, she just slung her hair in the kitchen. Dude, it's all messy bun. It's all messy bun in action. Shane's bragging on this Airbnb. They literally provide everything. Like there is charcoal under the sink and tampons in the cabinet. We've got to go on a run to Walgreens. And then I don't know what we're getting into, but we're getting into something. Don't know if I'll be seeing Lacey today. I hope I'm seeing Lacey today. So I'm kind of just hanging around. I'm waiting on her every word. <laughs> I don't know what we're getting into, but I do want to get onto the pier. <laughs> so at some point during this trip. So Maybe, I think Lacey's going to come and hang out with us and go to the beach either today or tomorrow. Uh, 
so we're just gonna get into something until I see her again. We are on Hilton Head Island right now. I've only ever heard about it on TV. So we don't really know what we're doing, but we just had to sardine park in a huge butt parking lot. So here's hoping we get out of here. <laughs> There's a turtle coat, you see it? We just got back from Hilton Head Island. It is way warmer there and the water is way warmer there. It's not cold here like Tabby. People are actually in bathing suits even though it's just like an hour away from Tabby. We just got back though. It is nine o'clock and we're just eating dinner, but I made something super simple tonight. Trying to use up all the groceries we got at the IGA the other day. So I'm doing some mac and cheese and some steaks. Simple as that. Then I gotta get in the shower and wash off my tan and shave my legs because look what the beach did to me. <laughs> I have a worse ring than before.
Good morning. I'm gonna make some quick breakfast. I tried to wash this tan off last night and it did not go so hot. I think it looks worse now than it did before. I never learned. <laughs> <laughs> I never learned my lesson. We're gonna do some quick breakfast sandwiches like I did in the waffle maker, but just assemble them and do it on the stove because we don't have a waffle maker. And then we're off to see what we can get into. And this is futuristic. So I've got these biscuits here. They're the butter, jumbo butter biscuits. They have to be cooked on 350. How do we do? 350? Okay. Start. Oh, did I do it? Okay, it's preheating. Okay, yeah, I did it. Cool. We got the jumbo butter biscuits. This is the cheese that we had to put on it. I need to cook through these eggs today. And then ham. I've got to cook up all of those 12 eggs, which shouldn't be hard with a family of six because that's like two eggs per person. While that's cooking, I'm going to sit out here on the porch. Um, well, the patio area. This little patio area is like so serene. It's not even funny. The best part about considering myself a YouTuber, because <laughs> I do do YouTube, but the best part about being a YouTuber is I could literally sit out here and edit my last video that went up. And when I tell you that that blows my mind, like that blows my mind. I don't think I'll ever like grasp onto that mentally. There's a lot of things I don't grasp onto mentally, but like even sitting here and thinking about it, just like, I don't know. I keep telling God I don't know how I could get more grateful than I am right now and he just blows my mind and I get more grateful than I was right then. <laughs> it was literally one of the most peaceful, one of the highlights to this trip. Obviously Lacey and Sadie and Bubba are the highlight and the, and the family memories and stuff but oddly enough one of the highlights of this trip still included you guys because it was literally me sitting out here and like checking over my video and stuff and that's just wild to me. I take y'all with me everywhere I go, quite literally, like on the camera and like right here. We only have meat tenderizer, so I'm seasoning the egg with. Walmart cover up is gross. It like meets my leg, so it's not you know I'm not showing I'm not showing the booty. This cover up though is my most favorite thing on the planet. It is so comfy. Oh, and my earrings are from Kato's. They're the pair that I finally found after I lost them when we went to Margaritaville. Hey guys, I found a mermaid washed up on the beach. Uh, Miss Mermaid, is there any way we can turn you into a human? Yeah, how we do it? Alakazam! Look! <laughs> 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 
I'm in the comments of the last video where I pack with you guys. Somebody said I'm halfway through the video and don't even know where they're going. I'm sorry. I didn't even think to mention that. Georgia. <laughs> but check this out. So a bunch of y'all are like, Marina, the kids, I'm running around the whole entire beach house. Marina, the kids' uh, luggages, they have the hard handles too on the area where the zipper is underneath the soft handle. And I was like, what? Y'all are kidding me. I thought I tore those things apart trying to figure them out and how they worked. What? Me and Colton are over here playing with it because look, Colton, show them. I'll try to go. <laughs> they are, okay? <laughs> you oh. see why I need you guys. <laughs> Colton said, are you kidding me? <laughs> Who's behind us? <laughs> Shane, moving like pond water. <laughs> Any day now, Shane. Come on. <laughs> Let me just move at a snail's pace. I don't know. He might be following the law. I might be the one breaking it. Well, we can't tell because your speedometer don't work. Yeah, my speedometer. What's the wind feel like? Huh? Huh? <laughs> We're going <down> out. <laughs> All right. We are packing up our stuff and doing the checkout checklist that they have left us. We're going to be off on our way to see Lacey on the way out of here. I will check in with you guys whenever I get home. It's gonna be a long drive. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I forgot to uh, check in with y'all whenever we got home. We made it home safely. Thank y'all for hanging out with me. I hope y'all have a blessed morning, night, whatever it is, wherever you're at. Know that I love you, but Jesus loves you more. I'll see y'all later.